I worked out, I lost weight, like I think 15, 10, 15 pounds in the last few months. Um, and I'm gonna get this BBL. I want both. And what? Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So this video will be my, whew, I can't believe it's already here. Um, my journey to Miami, oh girl, I'm cracking. Um, my journey to Miami, my pre-op is tomorrow and my surgery is on Friday. Um, it's been a long time coming y'all, but it's finally here. But continue watching, I'm gonna give y'all all the tea. Anything that's not spelled you want to know, comment in the comments down below and I'll let you know because I'm real about it all. And that's so period. Um, so enjoy the video. Hey y'all, so it is about 9 o'clock. I'm on the way to the airport. So my flight was supposed to be at, um, at 7, but it got delayed. And I had a, um, I had a layover in Philly and the delay made me miss the layover. So I called them. It was on American, but they got me rebooked for JetBlue, and I'll have a direct flight. Um, but I'm on the way, y'all. If you know me or if you don't know me whatever the case may be ever since i moved from florida and i live in boston now i love a palazzo like just the concept of it <laughs> it's like once you leave an area that has them you don't appreciate it as much and Publix girl i love me some Publix. no explanation needed i'm back in this florida sunshine it's what i've been throwing me back girl we came to crumble because i want a cookie and that's some period this is not you, girly, because I'm not doing cards. You're not getting anything? I want that one. The duo we all need. This is the crumble uh, cookie. Leah said, I've been dying to meet her. I'll uh, be there for <laughs> Crumble cookie, macadamia uh, okay. nut. It doesn't look. Also, those glasses, honey. Thank you, queen. It looks kind of old. What do you mean, oh? Like, these macadamia nuts do not look healthy. It's supposed to be white. But anyways, I'm gonna eat it. Oh. Let me turn here. I know it's hot. I'm gonna turn your face. Oh, I'm gonna turn it off. Y'all, I made it. I made it. I'm so nervous right now. I'm trying to just calm down and relax. I'm by myself, so we're gonna do this though. In a bank. I have a benign heart murmur, um, but they've said it's fine already. The paperwork, yeah. So, any allergies? No. Do, you don't take medication at all? No medication. Uh, do you smoke any kind of drugs? No. Any surgeries in the past? I had lipo December 2020. Lady, are you having any UTI, respiratory infection, fever, headache, anything? No. Any rash in your body? No. Okay, everything is perfect fine, okay? Okay. So today I have five. You will receive a phone call for surgery tomorrow, okay? I'll see so, we'll call at five, okay? Yeah. So once you know the time, eight hours before the surgery time, mm -hmm. 
body and water. Okay. So try today to eat good, to drink <laughs> a lot of water, and take a shower today and tomorrow morning with antibacterial soap. Okay. So then you'll be here tomorrow, you see the doctor, he explained the surgery, and then you go to the operating room. This surgery will take around two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. When you finish, you stay here in recovery. When you feel good, it's going to be discharged. So when you get home, the most important for you to start doing the same day is walking. Okay. That way you will prevent blood clot. Mm -hmm. Bring a lot of Pedialyte for a good hydration, especially the first two, three days. Mm -hmm. And then take the antibiotics to prevent infection. Okay. Next day of the surgery, you have to come back again for the follow-up. So you are going to receive an email tomorrow for the next day of appointment time. Okay. Okay? So any questions? Yes. Um, last time I had a surgery, they said only come with my phone and my faha. Is that the same thing or do I need to bring anything else you tomorrow? Your phone, yeah. You can bring any personal stuff that you want to bring. Okay. Okay. They are filming an Instagram video right now, y'all. The lady's here. Oh my God. There she is, y'all. There she is. Not gonna lie, y'all, I wasn't sure how she was gonna be in person, but she was so, so, so nice. Asked me how I was, answering questions. She even took a picture with me. So if you see her, say hi. Well, this is a lot more different from CG. I literally signed the paperwork, answered some questions, took pictures, and got me out the door. I paid for a drug test and I paid for one massage here. That's it. Um, feels a little off, but. Um, and in it. Yeah, instead of using flour, it's like um, potato base. I'm waiting to get into the recovery home. And they're taking forever. Oop, don't do that. This is gonna be posted like two weeks after, so I wanna talk my so shit when now. You see this in two weeks, no, I was sweating my balls off. Oop. Period. Oh, this is the view. Oh my god, y'all. I'm living. So this is surgery center, y'all. Mermaid Island, everyone's really nice. Um, they left me a salad. So yeah, salad with a little chicken. I'm gonna eat that um, in a bit here. Um, this is where they post Instagram stuff. Um, I'm gonna tag down below so y'all can see all the dolls just get their update or whatever. Um, it's really just an apartment. This is the room I'm staying in. I don't know if I'm gonna have, I should have a roommate. I don't know what bed is what. Um, TV. Then this is the skyline. Um, the first room I was in was in a different room and there's two girls up there, Star. Um, frick, I forgot the other girl's name. Um, but I've been talking to them for the past hour or so. And they have like the front view of front view of the apartment. I have the back view. And then this is just the bathroom. Here's me. You know, y'all know what this video is. Um, yeah, regular, regular old apartment. Um, it is pretty nice. Nurse floats back and forth. Let me turn around. The nurse floats back and forth between the two rooms. Um, I have the number of the main person. And yeah, ain't nothing else much to say. It's just a nice little cute place. So I'm just gonna be chilling. I don't know if there's nothing to show cause I'm just chilling today. So I'm probably gonna show y'all. Oh, I can show y'all what I brought, what I brought. Let me do that now. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do this video. Um, there's not really, I didn't bring a stand. I'm not linking anything, sorry, too much work. Um, ask me about it, DM me, message down below, I'll let you know where I got, whatever. Um, well, I'm gonna tell you where, but I'm not doing direct links, so it's what it is. Anyways, um, I got this BBL pillow from Amazon, I think it was like $30. Self-explanatory. Um, the stupid center teacher, center, 
the stupid surgery center made me buy a Faha from them. They gave me an extra, extra large, which I've never worn a 2X in my entire life. So I'm pretty sure this is way too big. Um, I need more like a small, period. Um, I got maxi pads to like cover incisions or whatever. I got diapers to put over my faha, hold my, um, my drains or whatever. I got bed pads to make sure I'm not bleeding on people's stuff. And that's all that's in that bag. Cuban sandwich. Um... This is like my water flosser. I got a whole thing full of chargers. I bought a laptop. Um, what else I got? Um, I bought some headbands. I probably will wear this later on, not like when I'm done with the surgery stuff. Cause I'm going back to stay with my friend for a while. Um, I don't think anything of importance in my book bag. No. So we're gonna move on to the suitcase. So I wanted to pack light because I'm not trying to be lugging a huge bag and I'm not trying to be dealing with an assistant at the airport. I'm just trying to be I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-T-E. -E -E -E. You didn't know what, I don't know how to spell, but independent, period. So this is my little carry-on, BB, real cheap. I got her from, I think, Burlington, Burlington Coat Factory. So. Let's start with my robe. You have to wear a robe after surgery because you're gonna be cold and usually you're cold a lot um, after anesthesia and whatever. So this robe I got off of Amazon, looks real good. Is this a thumbnail? Actually, let me do a thumbnail real quick. Okay, I got my thumbnail. Next up, we have the iconic lipo phones also from amazon when you have your faha on you put this inside um i think to help with compression and to not have the faha directly on you so close after surgery so it's not creating lines i think that's what it's for i forget um that's that dial soap antibacterial because this is all you can wash with they don't want no exfoliants they don't want no bath and body works perfume just straight up regular antibacterial soap. And I don't use Dove ever since that commercial. If you know, you know, I use Dial, not Dove. Um, what is this? Oh, that's dirty laundry. Dirty laundry, dirty laundry. Um, this is my ab and my backboard. Ab board goes in front under the Faha, backboard goes in back, self-explanatory. These are the Fajas I bought off of Amazon. I bought two, they were $30. Depending on how the one from the center fits, I'm going to return either one or both of these. Cause I got a small and a medium and they fit me snug. Or I might just keep them as I get the fluids out and I get smaller. I may need to keep both, but we'll see. But Amazon has a month return policy. So it's been like two weeks. I also got stool softener, you know, after anesthesia, your bowels do not move as much. So, maybe constipated and you gotta take that. I got Advil, Tylenol, you know, instead of the opioids or whatever they're gonna give me. I got my bonnet, of course, tried and true. I got wipes to wipe myself, wipe my booty, all the things. And clothes. Everything else is clothes. Um, I have the same shirt for my lipo. It's a long button down shirt. It's like a dress so they can put it into, put it on me easily. Um, and then a color, other, couple other cute things. This cute little, um, what is this? Overall set. And then I brought all like loose shorts and crop tops and you know, thin like shirts. And then I bought one pair of long like lounge pants, but it's hot, it's Miami. But inside I may wanna have pants, I may not, but I just bought one just in case. But everything fit up in here, child. 
I really squeezed everything to fit in here. Ooh, now my knees hurt. But that's what I brought with me. Um, and since I'm at this recovery home, I don't need food, water, like all that stuff they got covered. If you're not staying at a recovery home, then you got to bring even more supplies. Um, but I don't know. Last time I stayed with friends and it went okay, I thought. But um, that's a whole video in itself. And I don't know. It was nice having my friends, though, because like you have someone there in such like a vulnerable time that you know um and now it's different i don't think i would have done well doing a first surgery by myself in a recovery home because you don't know these people um everybody's really nice but like at the same time i mean you can call people but you don't know them they're not here for you like in a way that your friends or family would be so like the second time around i feel good like i know what i'm doing i know the process i can kick you with people and be cool um so i mean it's up to you Overall, I said this a thousand times, I think. Mentally, it's about you. I had a lot of anxiety um, this morning and yesterday, worried about the paperwork and everything, but it went a complete 180 from CG. So it's July, y'all, um, which you would have seen the date stamp. But a couple months ago or earlier in the month, I think it was earlier in the month, Florida passed a law to where they could only do three BBLs a day. Before, doctors could do five, six, seven, but now they're only doing three. And so I think people were scared that they were gonna get their surgeries canceled. So they canceled or rescheduled them themselves. So when I went to Ivana, I was the only person in there. I was looking and y'all see the videos I put in here, only person in there. The person before me that signed in was at nine and I signed in at 11. So they're not seeing that many people. I don't know if it's just this kind of awkward um, period of time, but they're not seeing a lot of people. Um, but yeah, child. So I was in and out, I think about an hour and a half. So it wasn't that long. Um, and so I had to pay a hundred dollars for the COVID, no, hundred dollars for, uh, hundred dollars for the drug test, hundred dollars for the, um, massage. They made you get one there, which at CG, I didn't have to get any there, but at Ivana, they make you get at least one there at post-op. And then I had to pay $120 for that raggedy extra large 2XL um, Faha. But it's okay. I didn't have to pay for cell saver. Thank you, Jesus. Because cell saver is like $600. And my hemoglobin was 16, which is really good. So, like, there's no reason to be charging me for a cell saver. I would love to do some promo for them because you don't see Ken dolls a lot. So, I'm trying to help y'all Ken dolls out with some representation. Literally everything I've done in my life, pretty much, there's little to no representation for me it is being black, dark skin, gay, short, male, the list goes on and on, femme, like all the underrepresented, it's me, it me. Um, but that's okay, child, because I'm out here for the girls, I'm out here for the Ken dolls, and anybody else as well, dark skin, short, whatever, I'm here for y'all. That's why I make these vlogs, so y'all can see the experience firsthand, and I'm gonna give it to y'all real. DM me, message me, comment, whatever, I'm gonna reply because I don't, I mean, I get the secrecy, but then I don't like the false expectations when people post like gym photos and like, oh, and girl, you got a BBL. Like if you got a BBL, just let people know you got a BBL. Like it's not that serious to me, but some people it's very, very serious. But to me, I worked out, I lost weight, like I think 15, 10, 15 pounds in the last few months. Um, and I'm gonna get this BBL. I want both. And what? Um, but yeah, chill. <laughs> um, this has been very good. Very good day. So yeah, chill. I'm gonna sign off and relax. I've been talking for a long time. And my friend Roberto's calling me. Chill. They didn't have no hot sauce in the other room. My friend started wanting some hot sauce, chill. So. I'm gonna go back to the other room with the dolls and bring her some hot dogs. Great. Just chilling, y'all. I want to show y'all. Very chill vibes. Don't want to make anything overrated. It's a room. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a room. <laughs> I close the window because I want to be just chilling. I'm watching Love Island. Gonna catch up on Big Brother. A couple other shows as well. Hey y'all, it is dinner time. 
at lunch I ate my other half of the Cuban, so I didn't eat the lunch that they gave. So I still have it here. The salad here, I'm gonna eat that. The chicken I'm gonna save, cause I got more in here. This is the dinner. Put some barbecue sauce on it. I don't eat broccoli, so I'm gonna eat the salad. And then there's rice. First dinner. Okay y'all, quick OOTD. Surgery day. Um, so I got my shoes from Target, socks from Amazon, this shirt from Walmart, robe from Amazon, and then Faha from Havana. When I say, when I say, Beyonce, That album, that's all I'm gonna say. Go listen to it. Well, y'all probably will have by now. It will be charting by now. That's all I gotta say. You heard it here. Here we go, y'all. I'm here for surgery. Everything they have is so white and clean, and I love the aesthetic. All my stuff. I got a bag with my name, my doctor, my meniscus. This is the room that I am in. They said I should be in here for about an hour. Way bigger, way bigger than CG. They just came in and put my IV in, y'all. I'm here waiting on doctor, my meniscus. To mark me up and then we should be ready to go he put so much tape on here but that's good because i don't like seeing it it doesn't hurt but like the visual aspect i don't like seeing um so that's good Hey y'all, I'm in the van. I can't even lift my arm up, but hopefully it's giving what need to be gave. I'm ready to lay down and drink some water. Y'all, Dr. May Meniscus must have really went in on my back. I was up walking around for a good 10, 15 minutes and then all of a sudden, my back started just hurting, like a huge backache. I don't know. I thought it was the straps. I took them down, and it didn't help. So, <sighs> I think he just went really aggressive on the back lipo, which is good. But it hurts. It's like the upper shoulders. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> I don't normally have pain at all or feel it, so this back ache is a lot. I just had some soup earlier with some crackers, and then I took a stool softener pill because I'm constipated. And, um, drinking water, you know, and I'm gonna try to get up and walk in another hour. But this back, they're supposed to be bringing me Advil. And I'm gonna pop these perkies as soon as I have them because this back pain is not for the girls. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Uh, hopefully this is the last full body surgery that I'm doing. Ron to keep up with this because I hate being in pain because I rarely feel it. And this is not it, not it. <sighs> I mean, 
gonna try because uh, I don't feel like it right now. But get into the booty. Big old booty, 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 booty. Y'all, my back is killing me. They still got marks on me. My back is killing me. Hey y'all, it's about 6.30. <clears throat> The back pain is gone or subsided. Um, I got had some Tylenol and they gave me that. Still waiting on these perkies because I'm gonna pop them chow. Um, my lower back aches a little bit, but the upper back is gone. And my booty, she's very, very sore. Um, I think I sound a little bit better than I did like two hours ago. So I think I'm doing okay. I've been walking around for about five minutes, five, ten minutes every hour. I got about 30 minutes left. Um, and then I'm about to get up again. I've peed, I think, three times since I've been home. I just emptied my drain once. Um, I'm not going to show that I cut this blood and nasty, but I'm trying to drink a lot of fluids and get this stuff out of me so I can get this drain out fast because I did not want to drain in the first place. So we'll see. Hey y'all, this is dinner. I've already dug in it. I'm like sour cream, so I was putting it to the side, but these tacos are really good. They got lots of meat in there. Um, it's just really, really hot, and it's burning my throat, and I have a sore throat after the anesthesia, and the pineapple is pickly, but I'm gonna eat it in about 10, 15 minutes. But food is good for dinner. Y'all no, don't like blood. Um, skip over the next 30 seconds, because my drain is on. But nothing's bleeding. My drain is just on. Um, well, I do have a few stains. Um, so again, if you don't like this, skip like the next minute or so. But I wanted to show y'all my surgery. I'm covering my chest because I'm not a girl, but you two be playing games. Um, I got this diaper on. And just wanted to show y'all the body. I'm very swollen, so she's gonna go down. But I see some hips he gave me, which I asked for. I really wanted just a little bit of hip in there. Um, and then the booty, she looks really big, y'all. Like, I need her to go down. But it's here, y'all. She is here. I'm very happy with the shape overall, but I just want to see what it looks like when the swelling and all the fluids go down. I've been drinking a lot of water and pineapple juice. I've peed, like, not even lying, probably about 10 times today. That's Drag Race Finale in the back. Um, I peed about 10 times. I emptied my, um, my drain with the blood um a few times i think about three or four times and it fits up to 100 milliliters so like a lot of blood and um fluid that they pump in for and things are coming out then i got my meds um they gave me ondodestron for like nausea which i'm not nauseous or anything so i'm not taking that and then they gave me Doxyclycinae, A H Y C, and um, what else? Cephalexin. These are um, antibiotics to prevent infections. And then I got hydrocodone and acetaminophen. Hydro hydrocodone. It's a um, painkiller. So I took one of those. And I'm feeling good, real good. Um, and then I take the antibiotics for like seven days. Yeah, seven days um, to make sure everything's good. So I feel a lot better than y'all. I was struggling earlier. My back, it was just killing me. Um, and then I took two Advils and I felt a little better, but I slept a lot um, and I've been walking. So I have a timer, at least during the day going off every hour and then I'm just walking back and forth here in the room. Oof. 
I'm bleeding a little bit. Um, walking back and forth in the room, and then I walked a little bit on the balcony out there, and then I walked upstairs to go say bye to some of them, my surgery sisters, um, who's staying in this recovery home. Um, but I slept so much today, and I just took a one hour. Um, I slept for one hour and woke up because one of the surgery sisters called me. Um, and then, like, I feel rested, so I'm about to watch Drag Race. And I'm about to watch Love Island because I'm not sleepy. Um, but I'm praying for her. Um, she said, like, she felt something or heard something pop. Um, she had, like, a muscle repair or tummy tuck or something. Um, so I'm just praying for her. She might be going to urgent care just to make sure everything's good because her flight is tomorrow. Um, and last thing we want is anything to happen on a flight. So I'm just hoping that she's all good to go. I love the girls here. Um, y'all know who y'all are, y'all three. Um, we've had some good conversations. It's been good bonding um, and just going through this experience together. It's nice to have families and friends here um, supporting you, like I said at the beginning of the video, but it's also a whole different thing when you have people going through it at the same time. Um, Cause you get to bond. It's like, it's a bonding experience. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here though, y'all. I'm gonna do just this one pre-op and surgery day together and then I'm gonna do post-op and some updates later. I have my post-op tomorrow and a massage which I'm a little scared for um but I'm gonna pop this um hydrocodone right before. But thank y'all for watching again I just want to be 100% real about this procedure and this process so y'all know y'all can get questions answered um whatever. And I like I always say, I'm not promoting this at all. I'm not suggesting it. I'm just sharing my experience and that's all I can do. Um, you have to do your own research. You have to reach out to surgery centers. You have to mentally prepare. It's a whole big thing. Um, but if you want to do it, it, it it's, 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 it's a process and it's worth it to me. Um, but it's a personal choice at the end of the day. Nobody needs cosmetic surgery, in my opinion. It's all about a want and what you want your body to look like and you're in charge of your body at the end of the day um so yeah y'all thank y'all for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you in the next one bye